Welcome, welcome back to Cramlington Learning Village. Three parts, one whole. This is the senior section, the senior learning village, as you can see from our new sign. But we also have the junior learning village. And of course behind me is the advanced learning village. And let's start by having a look at the changes we've made in the advanced learning village. And this is the independent study area that we've considerably enlarged over the last 18 months. Just behind me, there's a number of workmen working on what's going to be a sixth form study garden, an outside area that sixth formers can use for study purposes. And the table that I'm sat on are going to be some of the tables that will be in that study area. When we built the JLV, we decided to move the music and drama facilities into the Junior Learning Village, and this meant that we could develop this particular block as a vocational centre. And here I am in the middle of this marvellous new facility in our hairdressing salon. This is our construction area, where we're going to be doing painting, decorating and bricklaying. This is the learning plaza that we used to call the social block. You'll remember, most of you, that we did one side of the social block up uh, and have used it both for teaching, learning and your social facility. We've now done the other side up, again as you can see, uh, and it's a tremendous space that's available not only to you, the students, during break time and lunch time, but also we'll be teaching the iCitizen course for years 10 and 11 in this facility uh, and in the future humanities as well. And it's full of all of the latest things that you'd expect, including access to computers. This is the old community corridor, uh, and the old community rooms are on my right. But you'll notice what we've done in the corridor. We painted it a very different colour from the usual colours that you find in the school. And it's very important, we think, to change the colour scheme in the school to reflect what should be a 21st century school. These are the old community rooms and as you can see we've completely gutted them and we've transformed them into something much more interesting and something that we'll use for both teaching and learning but also for student use. And we'll be telling you more about that during the course of this term. One of the things that we're going to do in the future is transform our very ordinary classrooms into something much more imaginative. We've got the discovery zone as a model of what a really interesting and effective classroom could look like. And what we did over the summer holidays is transform Mr. Tent's old room, A2, into something, I think, quite special. Welcome to the Junior Learning Village. This is a street which connects the two halves of the building. But it does more than that. It's a social area for the students at break and lunch. They can eat in the street, uh, on the chairs at the side. It's an area where students might be able to do learning as well. When we have a village arts festival, we'll use the street as one of our venues. In the Junior Learning Village, we're trying to rid ourselves of some of the old names of the 19th and 20th century. So we have this block called Explore, and in that block, maths and English takes place. And it does it in a very active way of exploring and inquiring. The other blocks that we have in school also have other names like Discover and Inquire. Let's go into the Inquire Zone. In the corner, we have a soft furnishing area because some students might want to break away from the fours that they work in into a slightly larger group. In a more informal way, they can have a good discussion. If you look at the tables around you, you see there's lots of ICT available and students sit in a home group of four. It's very much like the Discovery Zone that some of you will be familiar with. We have a lot of drop-down screens available, and you also notice the colour scheme is different from what a traditional classroom looks like. Up to 60 students can work in this room in a team teaching situation. That means there are 60 students and two teachers. And there's also another flexible learning resource in the area. That's a sort of boardroom, meeting room, where students can meet in groups of, say, 12 or 13 or 14. 
This is the Knowledge Cafe, which incorporates both a dining area and a library area and a resource area. So you would have in this area computers, books, as well as the opportunity to dine and talk about your books over lunch. This is the Discover part of the Junior Learning Village. And in Discover you've got science and we're in the open plan science learning plaza. And upstairs you've got art and you've got technology. Again, you'll notice how different it is from what we have in the Senior Learning Village and the Advanced Learning Village. And we're showing you all this, not to make you jealous, but to make you understand that classrooms can be different. And what we hope to do over the next few years is reconfigure the classrooms in the Senior Learning Village. And we'll be talking to all of the students in the Senior Learning Village to get your ideas, so that next summer we'll be trying to reconfigure the Senior Learning Village into something exciting, something that 21st century deserves and you deserve. Have a good term.